Hey there internet, Keith here, and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel. In this video, we're going over the Blue Shield Kevlar 3H inch pressure washer hose. Now I say Kevlar because that's the name brand that most people know. That's the uh, brand name from DuPont for the Aramid uh, strand that's used for bulletproof, ballistics, all that kind of stuff. It's used in this pressure washer hose right here to make it very light. They say it's a four to one safety, which means that it's rated for 4,000 working PSI, which means that's not the max, that's the working PSI. And it can withstand up to 16,000, it says, without blowing up. Of course, I can't test that. We're, we're doing car washing stuff on this channel. Now it can be up to 40% lighter than some other three inch hoses. We're gonna put that against some other ones in this video. We're gonna test those numbers, test the thickness for car washing, around the house in the garage, this is gonna be really good for that. Now I didn't even know about this company or this pressure washer hose until I bought the Blue Seal, which is another of their companies, Blue Seal uh, retractable garden hose reel that I may have seen in my previous videos for my wash setup. Contacted me around the same period of time. I said, yeah, wow, I'd love to review some pressure washer hoses. So they sent this over. Now the price this is at for the, the black model here is $170 on Amazon, and that doesn't come with the quick disconnects. There is a 35 foot version of this hose that's on Amazon for $99. I think that's a really good deal because most people will never use more than 35 feet. I did see a listing. I'll put it below, I'll put all the links below for all the different ones for this because they're all over the place. I did see a listing, said it was eight left, $49.99 for this exact hose. The picture was there and it was this hose, the writing was on the hose, I cannot guarantee. I'm just letting you know now, you'll be taking a risk buying it. You'll probably, you might return it, you might not. Now, another thing I really like about this hose is I really like the grip here. This is really nice. Uh, if you have it in a hose reel, that's not as needed, especially on one side where, it's, where it hooks up. The end is a swivel, just like the Essential Washer or the Cobra Jet. You have that swivel on the end. And then obviously the other end, so that way they both come with three inch MPT males. So when you get your quick disconnects, most everybody, you're going to get a 3 inch female quick disconnect and you're going to get your 3 inch female on this side to connect to that thread and then you have your 3 inch male plug. The only time you'll ever see one of these in my video is when I toss it to the side because those are the piece of craps that come with most of your pressure washers. Now I'm also not saying that you need any of these. You really don't. I mean Uberflex is a really good option right here like 50 bucks. There's a 35 footer I think for about $40. Uh, the stock hose that comes with pressure washers, it works. It's just not great. Now, once you have a little bit more money, you have some money to spend, think there's nicer things to have. They make your uh, life easier. They make washing more enjoyable. This is not the MTM Cobra Jet hose. This is the essential washer hose. From what I've seen, and I have friends who have a Cobra Jet, this is literally the exact same. Has the swivel, comes with your uh, stainless steel quick disconnects. Is that really nice flexible jacket? It's just a really nice hose. This one's about $90 on Amazon. This is a really good deal. This is really good quality stuff. This is an older 3 inch gray non marking hose that I picked up from Amazon. Uh, it's really nice. This, I think they run between $70 and $90. It just depends. Uh, it's really nice. It lasted me for years. Now, this is an Uberflex hose. It's quarter inch, so it's much more like your stock hose. This is a very easy upgrade for most people who are just getting into pressure washing because it already comes with your M22 fittings that are just like your stock pressure washer. So you replace the hose, use your stock gun, down the road, upgrade your gun, get some quick disconnects, use these M22 style ones here from McKillen's. I'll leave a link below for that kit. It's a great way to get into the game and it's an awesome hose. Now one of the biggest things about your 3 inch hoses is the majority of them allow for hot water. This allows for hot water, hot water hot water 250 to 275 degrees these will handle that the uberflex will not handle 250 degrees it won't handle anything it's it's cold water only like less than 100 degrees 120 degrees now it says not for steam service so you don't want to use this for carpet cleaning steaming any of that kind of stuff uh really really hot vapor so before we get any further into the video go ahead and check out the links below don't forget to check out carswekeep.com like comment subscribe Let's get the testing. Now, when they say three inch hose, quarter inch hose, that is the internal diameter. That is the tube that carries the water. Most of these have multiple tubes, an inner one and outer one. And then you have this rubber wrapped around kind of fused uh, outer shell, just like the uh, Blue Shield. The difference between the Blue Shield and these, they have a wire 
uh, braid around to kind of protect the hose. This uses the Aramid Kevlar uh, strands to do that wrap. Now we have a magnet to test that. As you can see, the three inches non-marking hose has that wire braid. Your quick disconnects that come with them are usually stainless steel, uh, but these ends are steel because you really can't crimp stainless steel. I mean, any of these hoses, there's it's going to be the same thing. Like this is not magnetic, but this part right here is. And then also the hose is magnetic. Now you'll see the Aramid Kevlar. It's not magnetic. Now the very end of the hose, just like the other ones, it's magnetic. Now the Uberflex is different because it doesn't have the wire braid. So it's not magnetic, which is also why it's not as durable as these. Inside the M22 does have steel. So the gray non-marking hose, the width. Now this one's been worn out just a little bit. So maybe like 0 0.01 less than... It was before but you see we have 0.58 the kevlar hose is it's like 0.66 or so here is the essential washer hose and that is 0.66 as well your uberflex is 0.45 the thickness overall i believe is what would make this slightly more durable than the gray one uh, but i still think the smooth jacket of this makes this more durable you can see with all the slacks out it's zeroed out we're just going to hold it you see right there we got some of that reflection from this led screen but it's seven pounds five ounces on the kevlar all right we have it zeroed out i hope you can see that this way the gray one we are in at eight pounds six ounces so about a pound difference between the two i'd say 15 percent, something like that uh lighter all right we're zeroed out 11 pounds 14 ounces that might be close to that 40 percent all right we got zeroed out here is the pro pulse uber flex three pounds 13 ounces like I want to say again, this was sent to me. Now, would I have purchased this for $169, seen it on Amazon and not knowing anything about it? I don't know. I really don't know. And I, I, I couldn't tell you truthfully if I would or not, because I'm in a different mindset. It was given to me. This is a comfort. This is a luxury. Uh, and you, you pay for that. Now, once again, in the description below, I will have many different types of this because there are some cheaper versions that are in gray of this hose, like around $130. Okay, so we're over at our favorite area, the wash setup. Uh, I'll leave a link below to the build on this entire thing. But this is the Blue Seal. So Bluebird, RMX owns Bluebird. Bluebird runs uh, Blue Seal, uh, which is their reels and stuff for garden hoses. Uh, and then your Blue Shield, they have Blue Shield for air hoses and for pressure washer hoses. They have air hose reels and pressure washer reels. They're not cheap. But this one right here, I think is the best deal on Amazon is 199 bucks. And it comes with a really nice five inch hose. Uh, I just replaced it with my Flexzilla because I just prefer the Flexzilla. Now this right here is the reason I agreed to review the pressure washer hose because this thing's awesome. Uh, and I was like, wow, what a coincidence that they contacted me. I wish they would have done that. Maybe I would have been able to get this for free. Now this is the Fix Fans retractable hose reel. Really good buy. It's like 230. Uh, retractable hose reels, there's people take air pressure hose reels and convert them to water i don't do that from a liability standpoint and i just when it comes to something like this that is near my head i really don't need that possibility of something exploding the hose feeds just right through here because normally on most hose reels you have to you have to screw it in first and then you have to loop it back through the pressure washer or some of them like the essential washer come with the swivel that's what the swivel's for you can feed it through your hose reel and then screw it into the elbow that you have this one though right here goes through here there's actually a quick disconnect back here see that quick disconnect right there then it loops around and then goes into the unit that is a really nice feature and that opening right there that connects to it is big enough to fit an m22 from an uber flex it wasn't like a complete u it was kind of like an offset u uh, so the m22 was hitting at the top here and the angle of you know the quick disconnect wasn't dead even I go through like that as long as you're clicked you're good but if you unclick and there's you know you don't have a stopper on this hose it's gonna be a bad day it's gonna go 
rule until it's completely unbound. I figured instead of having a car in here, because it'd be much harder to see how the hose is reacting on the floor, we have our hood stand, we have a uh, old wash cart, and behind that we have our platform kind of foldable stool that you can kind of stand on to kind of work our way around as we're trying to, uh, you know, unwind the hose and do different things because no hose is perfect. As you're running around, you will get loops. That's just the way it is. No hose will ever lay dead flat as you're going back and forth and making changes. Those hoses, you know, they want to curl a little bit. And as you can see, comes out very flat. No problem. There's no loops over here. You really can't see it on the floor below me. There's no pressure in this. Now we gotta put some pressure into it. Now you're gonna have these loops. Don't worry about it. It's on the ground. If you get OC about it, you're gonna spend more time fixing that than you won't be washing your car. When you wanna worry about that is when you transfer to the other side of the car. You don't wanna you know, move that hose around. So as I'm transitioning this out of the car, I'm pulling my slack around my tire. I have my loops and this is when I want to fix my loops with one. I have more than enough to get to this side of the car so I don't have to fix that loop because it's sitting over there. It's fine. I have plenty of slack. Come around here as you see it lays nice. I mean the stock hose is so bad but you see how this hose it still has memory like as I'm turning it wants to to loop. It wants to to do stuff. So when we come back, and this is when most of your loops happen is when you're tripping back and you're looping back over that hose. Right there, see we created a loop. Now we can pull that up pretty easily. Pull your slack and you spin it out. You see the great knock marking hose, really heavy, you can hear it. Lands, it's not, uh, I think it's more controllable than say the Uberflex. The biggest difference between the Uberflex and this one, is this one doesn't feel much difference between being empty and having pressure in the hose. And since it's much heavier, the swivel spins more freely and, and the hose fixes itself easier so this is wash. We'll go around. It's going to maybe want to loop, but maybe not loop. Right here. Nope, it's not looping. You see, it just wants to lay nice and flat. You see where I am here with the hose near my hand as I'm clearing my slack. Oh. <laughs> but it does have, as you can see, this right here. Easily correctable by the swivel. I have a loop over here that is so easy to fix. I've kind of forgotten how good this hose is. You see it's it's looped over here uh, at the edge of the cart. I just pull it out. Swivels. It's a very important part of this whole process. It makes life so much easier. So see how I turn and pull. Now I have created a loop. Come this way. I want to twist my hand to keep it kind of down and then pull it away from the car and get that loop out. If you're outside, every time you switch to a side of the car, you can go as far as you can until the hose is completely done and then do your loop around the car. In here, like I said, much more confined space. I don't have that luxury. This is the pain of first reeling in your hose. This one, I don't know if it's the smooth jacket or whatever, but it reels up so nice and so uniform without even trying. As we show with the gray one versus the Uberflex, the easier the swivel moves, so it was way easier with this heavy monster. If you see the weight of this, it's much more controlled with the pressure. All right. One on the tire. Of course, 
see how heavy it is? It's actually pulling the platform. See how it's lifting up in the air right there? Simple, quick fix with the hand. I should have fixed that before I went all the way this way. And pretty good. Now, if I'm over here and I'm just constantly moving back and forth on the car, going this way, maybe I'll go back. I can create a loop. Very easily solvable with this. There is a little more wrist fatigue because of how this just seems to be stiffer. Like it's flexible, but there's some stiffness to it. So it takes a little more, but it lays so well because it's so heavy. Like if I just want to move it around, it just, it just wants to lay on the floor. We should cause a loop going back this way. Get our slack. If you have a lot of slack, it's harder to fix the loops that are further down the hose because of that weight. You have to get much closer to pull a little more tension and then do that turn and pull that loop out. You see it's laying nice and flat. Obviously it's lighter, so it wants to move a little more, kind of like the Uberflex, nowhere near as much as Uberflex. Still wants to lay nice and flat. Before him. It's so easy. Come on up here. Let's go back. Let's create a loop on our way back. We got one right here. Easily fix that. We are definitely going to create a loop going this way. Now, as I said before, with the amount of length, I can't fix that with my swivel from here. I have to, you know, get a little bit closer because I don't want it to pull up and, you know, scratch the car. You want to get it away from the car, do your flip, and you're good to go. Well, there you go. I gave you some information to make your own informed decision. This pressure washer hose, the Kevlar, is really, really nice. Uh, now that I've owned it, I know what it is. I believe I would buy it. I just don't know if it would be the first or second hose that I would buy. I would probably work my way up to it. Um, it makes a big difference in what I'm doing during reviewing products and stuff versus not. This one being 169, but like I said, I'll leave a link below. There are a few of them that's still there. There's 49.99. I don't know where this listing is coming from. I think it's just a really, really good product. The other ones are great as well. The Essential Wash is a good buy. The Uberflex is a great buy. The Gray Hose is a great buy. You can't go wrong with any of them. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. Check out carswithgeek.com. Don't forget the bloopers coming up next. And I'll see you in the next video. Propulse. The company Propulse. The who? Propulse. Blah, blah, blah. And that's another reason tool cart or, or one of them, you, oh my gosh. So before you get any further to the video, go ahead and like, oh my God. It's below, oh my gosh. So before you get in, let's get the time, blah, blah, blah. So before you get, so before we get any further to the video, go ahead and hit, oh my gosh. I have something to pound my fist on now when I mess up my bloopers. He didn't do that all day long. Maybe he didn't like my...